My name is Jeannie Merrill and I was in the 1995 class of Green Corps. I'm now the policy director with the California Climate and Agriculture Network. So in 1994 the Republicans took control of Congress and proceeded then to uh, attempt to roll back all of our major national environmental laws, the Clean Air Act, the Clean Water Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act. So Green Corps and a bunch of other national environmental groups got involved with trying to stop the rollback of our environmental laws. And as part of that, um, the Green Corps organizers, we were targeting uh, members of Congress who in particular seemed like they uh, there were freshman Republicans who were now on the bandwagon of, of rolling back these national environmental laws. So we targeted Congresswoman Sue Kelly, um, who the League of Conservation Voters actually backed um, when she was running for election. Um, she ran on an environmental record. She represented an area that included um, the Hudson Valley and the river, um, and cleaning up the Hudson River and uh, caring about uh, safe drinking water and clean water was something that her constituents cared quite a bit. Um, so that when she began to sort of fall in line with Republican leadership around rolling back environmental laws, um, that was a surprise, I think, to a lot of her constituents and certainly to the local environmental groups who supported her. So we requested meetings, we gathered petitions, we never got those meetings, and finally um, we held a news conference in front of her office um, in the district uh, with local environmentalists, including the Hudson River Keeper and others, and uh, got the New York Times to show up in the local weekly, and the local weekly ran a story of, you know, what's happened to Congresswoman Sue Kelly. Um, and it was not long after that that she began to sort of backpedal on a lot of those commitments to support the effort to roll back environmental laws. Some of the most valuable things I learned in Green Corps are some of the basics around um, how do you put together a campaign how do you think about um, targets and power mapping and goals and strategies and tactics? And these are things that I still, skills that I still use uh, that I find are still uh, relevant. What I do now is I'm the policy director for a coalition of sustainable agriculture groups in California called the California Climate and Agriculture Network. So my work now is about trying to make the connections between climate change and agriculture and saying that sustainable agriculture agriculture that uh, relies on biodiversity, on crop rotations, on bringing forward a sort of healthy, low input, conservation oriented agriculture has a lot of solutions to offer when it comes to climate change, both in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions, as well as adapting and making sure that we're resilient and we can face uh, climate change and still produce food. Green Corps is important for the sort of broader uh, social change and environmental movement because it instills this sort of sense of the importance of organizing, the importance of bringing power uh, from the grassroots and having that be the basis on which we make change. Green Corps is about um, not uh, sort of elite circles of decision makers, but really how do you activate people who already care about these issues uh, to make sure that they have a path to get engaged. Um, Green Corps is sort of central, I think, to building a strong environmental and social justice movement in the United States.